Hey guys, today I want to talk a little bit about some of the challenges that come with creating a long-term side project. It's one of those items that I think will change your life and your career at the same time. But much like anything worth doing, there is a lot of challenges that come with it. And, you know, as you are choosing something to work on for a long term, for many years, as I have with my YouTube channel, what I would say is that there's some 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 things you want to avoid and some items that you want to try and do. And we're going to talk a little bit about that because, you know, you succeeding with a single long-term side project can change your life in, in various ways. We're going to talk about that as well. I'd like to take a moment to thank our long-term sponsor, Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp. If you're interested in checking out a bootcamp where they include housing with the tuition so you can get up and go, might I recommend Dev Mountain. They have multiple locations. Not only that, they have programs in QA, full stack web development, UI, UX, and iOS development. Check them out for more information at devmountain.com. So I've had a couple long-term side projects and Let's let's start by describing what I mean by long-term side project. Oftentimes when you guys come in here, you're like, hey man, what can I do to make sure that I go and get a junior level job? And what can I do to go and make sure I get a, you know, I'm easily promoted senior, I can continue improving? And pretty much the answer I give you is get a long-term side project. And when I say long-term, I mean a project that you can improve on and iterate on for several years to come. Now, that's a hard thing to say to a lot of people, but I, I hope that you've thought about what that is. And, you know, oftentimes I tell people, figure out how to something that you'd like to make. Figure out how to do a um, a uh, MVP, uh, minimum viable product, like the bare bones core functionality, get it out. And then once you get it out, you could start continuing to iterate on it and improve it and so on and so forth. It's sort of my long-term side project has been YouTube for quite some time. And believe it or not, we're coming up on five years. What? Like, like <laughs> that's because I, I checked my, I checked and I started this channel in January, 2015. And although I don't have the biggest channel in the world, you know, we're around 70,000 subscribers. That to me, the, the real benefit hasn't come out of, necessarily the monetary gains of YouTube itself, but so so much more of me increasing my skill and being able to showcase that giving back to the community and passion that a long-term side project is good for. But I don't want to necessarily, you know, this video isn't about trying to convince you to go and create a long-term side project or how you might do it. We've done videos about that. What I want to do is sort of mentally prepare you for what that means and some, some items that you can do to help overcome that. So the thing most people struggle with in life, and one of the things that can make you very successful if you're able to do it, is consistency. Consistency to learn code and consistency to work on a side project. Managing that consistency is key. Now, what do I mean by managing that? Everyone has ups and downs to a degree. I have ups where I want to just put in 80 hours a week on a side project, and I've done that a couple times. And I would encourage you to avoid that here or there. It's okay, but if you are the type of individual who can bounce back and do continue your consistent schedule, what ends up happening for a lot of people is they push, 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 and then they get something out, and then they drop it because they had such a mis miserable time pushing. Don't do that. Instead, consistency, and find something that works, right? So um, there's been times where I've ignored my channel. I've gone from what I historically have done two videos a week to one video a week to some weeks missing. And I, I try to avoid that the best I can, but I, I have so many side projects and um, sometimes I give myself some leeway and make some excuses. And that's, you know, um, that's not what I would advise it. Try and limit the amount of side projects that you have until you are creating revenue with one of them. And what do I mean by that? Well, I have been, you know, money doesn't, uh, money isn't everything. And I don't necessarily want you to be money motivated. I'm a very money motivated person. 
uh, because I've, I've been on the side of the coin where I've had no money, and I've been on the side of the coin today where money is a little bit more plentiful than it's ever been. And um, what I would say is this: is that one of the most one of the most motivating things that you can do to continue a side project long term is making a little bit of money with it. I'm not talking about a lot, but the first time you turn a hundred dollars with a side project is a pretty good feeling and you'll be thinking how can i do it to 200 how can i do it to 300 400 so on and so forth and what you'll start seeing is that it's a little bit easier to do that consistent update that consistent management of my time where i say hey you know what every tuesday thursday regardless what's going on i'm going to put in two hours a week on this side project you know and it doesn't have to be one of those items where you're putting in tons and tons of hours. Maybe in the, maybe in initially to get it up and running, there's a little bit more overhead, uh, create the repo. But it could be something where you're slowly just delivering features. You're slowly working on something, and that consistency is very similar to what people like about college degrees. At the end of the day, a lot of you know, a lot of organizations want to see that you've learned something from college, but a lot of people want to see that you were able to dedicate your time, effort, and energy into something for years at a time to go and, you know, absorb this and be successful. And a side project, a long-term side project, can have that same impact, especially when you're selling yourself, right? One of the things that really translates quite well with the side project is it gives you a, a long-term side pro project is it gives you a story and what I mean by that is you are able to narrate from where you were to where you are and why that makes you valuable and if something is out there in the world that they can go and watch and click through and play with and see that's a very powerful thing to show how we took it from step a and took it to step d right and a long-term side project is pretty good so you want to keep that consistency and keep that um fine and keep the uh, you want to consistently work on something and understand that launching it is a is just step one right everyone wants to get to step e d f z for step 500 you gotta start at step one and get something out there and then continue to work on it and see what people think so uh, another thing that i would say is that if you're as you're working on these sort of long-term side projects is to find something you actually care about. One thing I've, I've had a lot of colleagues who have started projects and abandoned them is that they're out there chasing the money or chasing what they think other people want instead of what they want, right? And I've said this a couple times on my channel that, you know, my channel may do better if I catered my content to the audience or if I did what other people wanted me to do, right? But I've always catered my channel towards what I wanted to do and what I was learning and what how I wanted to get better and how I wanted to improve and I shared it with other people. And when I took that approach, part of it was that one, I, I, I never wanted to be a YouTuber. I never like that's not if I if I that was part of my mentality, maybe I would. I always just wanted to be a better developer, make side projects, make passive income and be able to, you know, maybe make a few bucks and just get better and share what I'm doing. And because I took that approach, and I took the approach that I'm going to keep me happy, it has kept my side projects fun. It has kept my, you know, my hobbies fun. And once you start trying to cater your side projects to what you think other people want, it becomes very, it, it, it becomes very much more like work than it becomes like a hobby, than it becomes something that you enjoy, right? And the, the analogy I give quite frequently is that if you like playing music, there's a big difference of just being someone who has a hobby playing the guitar versus being in a band and having to practice every day and going and playing when you don't want to and um, going to shows and you know, there's a there's a bit. so once you start treating it like a job it takes away a lot of the appeal and it slowly kills it for you and unlike a job where you need to pay your bills and where you have to where you show up whether you want to or not because you know most of us are not financially independent myself included. Um, you know, you're, you're likely to drop these things because they stop being fun. So you need to keep it fun and you need to find something that you want to do, that you are passionate about. And if you're not passionate about anything, um, you know, you ha it might take you a second to do a little bit of soul searching, a little bit of, um, you know, writing down what it is that, you know, 
start doing the spider web thing where you're drawn down like, okay, what do I like? Well, I like money. I like dating. I don't know. I like video games, specifically League of Legends. And I like MMA. You're like, all right, well, dating, creating a dating app seems a little complicated. Not really. Uh, it can go down the right probably hole, r- wrong rabbit hole. But, you know, what uh, What about creating an MMA web app where there's probably a UFC API that I can connect to and I could start there. And, you know, you can work on something. So when you're creating these long-term side projects, find something that you are passionate about. And it's that's a very strong word. And it's hard to define that. And I, if you asked me five years ago, when it, was I passionate about education? Was I passionate about teaching? I'd probably say no. And I sort of discovered that as I have sort of fallen into this sort of stuff, that I am. I do enjoy it. And especially with my non-traditional, you know, self-taught background, it's something I want to help other people succeed with because I've, I've changed my life in certain ways. So those are my tips for starting a long-term side project. Not too many. Honestly, find something you're passionate about and be consistent. And don't go ahead and try and just power, 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 power. Uh, because, again, it all that sort of makes it feel like a job, less like a hobby, less like something you enjoy and something that you sort of have to do. It's almost like why I stopped playing World of Warcraft back in the day. So um, I used to play a lot of World of Warcraft, as I, I'm sure uh, quite a few of us have <laughs> at a point in time. And every day I would play, and it was fun. You play with friends. And then um, I started just being like, oh, I have to sign on for two hours to do the raid. I have to do this. every, And I was like, why? Why? You know, I have to. I have to. I have to. And that I have to of like, and I stopped enjoying it and I, I didn't want to do it anymore. I didn't play it anymore because it just felt so much like a, a job where I had to go do this. I had to run the auction house every day. I had tasks and this and that to, to maintain. And it doesn't, you know, it doesn't find that it, it's not that enjoyable anymore. So you want to keep it enjoyable. You want to find something that you can create very small and then iterate upon add on and be consistent with. So, those are my tips. I hope you guys are doing that because it really will change your change your it could change your financial future, it could change your career. You know, generating a couple hundred dollars a month from a side project is one of the items that you can that will really help you down the road because it's, you know, I I don't know if you've ever sat down and and like done anything with actual investing money, but let's say you were getting a Let's say you're able to generate $500 a month, which is a hefty amount from a uh, passive income stream, but not unheard of, right? So you say, oh, okay, that's $6,000 a year. If you wanted to generate $6,000 a year from traditional investments like dividends, uh, the average dividend spent is around 3%. And so you're saying, okay, how much would I need to generate $6,000 a year or $500 a month? At $100,000, you're generating $3,000 a year. And so you're at $200,000 to get what your dividends would pay you. I don't have $200,000 <laughs> to generate $6,000 a year. Uh, and, the, you know, that's your money working for you. But you got to start somewhere, right? So um, if you're thinking like, oh, hey, it's not really worth it for $500 a month, think again. Uh, because the, the, the numbers support that, like, especially earlier on in your career, it's easier to get started now than when you have more responsibilities down the road. So something to consider. Anyhow, guys, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. I hope you're starting your side projects. I'm always starting little ones here or there. I got a couple cool ones that I'm working on. Um, And uh, as always, if you're interested in any of my courses, there's links in the description below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey, guys, don't forget to hit that notification bell or smash that like button while you're at it. And if you're interested, I just released my latest course, the 100 Front End Technical Question Challenge, which is there to help you pass those front end technical interviews. There's over 100 questions. You can get it for just $9.99. The link is in the description below or use coupon code CODINGGOD.